Welcome to another episode where I'm going to share with you my experiences with the Tesla Model Y. Today, I thought I would share with you some of the things that I like uh, about the car, and more specifically about how the car drives. drives pretty nice uh, I think I shared already at this point I think I've shared at this point that uh, the the ride is is pretty decent I do have the 20 inch induction wheels so um, those wheels do make it a little bit more uh, bumpy you can feel you can definitely feel all the imperfections in the road um, but it's not like a, a Corvette as it's not like beating you around or anything like that but uh, you do feel all the little bumps um, otherwise I think that the suspension is reasonably plush uh, overall which helps to make it a more smooth ride the one thing that I noticed immediately in this car uh, were the seats so there's only one other car I've sat in that I, as soon as I sat in the seats, it's like this is the most comfortable car I've ever sat in. And that was a Volvo. Uh, if you've ever sat in a Volvo, those are super plush, super comfortable seats. This is as close as I've ever been to a Volvo seat that wasn't in a Volvo. Uh, these seats are so comfortable. They're very like uh, cushiony, very soft, very plush. So this car has a heat pump, unlike the Model 3. And what's nice about that is it uses a lot less energy uh, when you're trying to heat the cabin. It works pretty well, uh, kind of like a combustion engine. It takes, it has to warm up uh, before it kicks in, uh, but it doesn't take long. And it does have heated seats, which are great. Uh, reduces the need to use um, the heat pump. Uh, so that's another way to save on energy, which is really nice. Um, I prefer, I'll use the heated seats as long as I can. Um, before turning on the heater just to help conserve energy and extend the range so uh, something that's nice about the vehicle so this is what my view is from the driver's seat um, in the model 3 it's kind of hard to tell the difference uh, but you are you do sit up a little bit higher it's not too bad um, it, you're not sitting up as high as like a huge SUV or anything like that but um, it's a it's it's nice there's a lot of visibility from this windshield and uh, the side windows are much bigger than the model 3 also and I think that that's another nice thing because it adds the visibility around the vehicle from the outside now whether the car would have come with a charger or not I still I would have gotten an aftermarket um, so it's kind of nice that it's got one built in uh, so I don't have to buy one that's aftermarket but um, yeah, super handy. Just like slot the phone down there and it starts charging. Like the Model 3, this finish I am not happy with. I love the look of it. However, it uh, it scratches so easy and that I am not crazy about. So I've got all the compartments open to try to reduce the use of them until I can get some sort of cover for it. I'm not a fan of the aftermarket flat colors. I really just want like a clear cover because I like the gloss look um, so we'll see if I can come up with anything so one of the first things that I bought for this was the cover for the screen and I was shocked how easy it was to put on actually um, it, it goes on just like on a cell phone however every cell phone I've ever put on I always feel like I get dust under there and it's never perfect it went on so easy and without dust bubbles at least that I can see so maybe the screen does a great job of hiding them uh, but highly recommend a tempered sort of material for the screen protector. It, it holds a lot less fingerprints uh, than the bare screen. Plus, of course, the protection of not scratching it is great too. It is a, it's awesome from the back seat. It feels really spacious back there. I had another vehicle before that had a panoramic sunroof and it really made the car feel so much bigger than it actually was. And this is no exception. And because of the shape of it, it's not flat. It goes up a little bit. It makes this feel really open and really airy and it lets in some decent light but it's super tinted so i feel like you wouldn't be overheated from the sun blaring the 
regenerative braking in this car is, is very good. Um, it's very, very firm. There's two settings. I've got it set on normal, which is it, it's, I haven't even touched the brake pedal uh, since I've owned this car, which is crazy uh, to think. Now you can turn that down so that it doesn't do it as much and start to brake the car like, you, like you're used to. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but um, why not uh, get used to it and capture that extra energy that you're creating by slowing the vehicle. Now for the acceleration. <laughs> this car is so fast it's funny when we test drove the model 3 standard range plus it uh it, it felt so fast it just throws you back in your seat and it was funny when we came back from the test drive the guy was saying like uh, that's the slowest tesla we make and it was almost like a step back and this is half a second faster zero to 60 this is not going to break any speed records but um, the point is I've never owned a vehicle uh, that was this fast and it is awesome You should google cars that are 0 to 60 less than 5 seconds and see what group of cars that this sits in And this is just a long range all-wheel drive 4.8 seconds 0 to 60 Look at the other cars that are 0 to 60 and 4.8 4 seconds and uh, it, it's kind of interesting to see uh, the crowd that you're in Check out 0 to 60 Woo! Ah, so fast. <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed in this car is a lot of the autonomous like safety features that are constantly on by setting like um, auto lane keep and things like that are hit and miss and I don't know if it was just a matter of the systems calibrating after we first bought it but it seemed like it was hit and miss and more so miss than hit and I'm not sure what the deal was with that but um, today as an example it seems to be functioning a lot a lot more frequently so again maybe it's just the systems calibrating but there for the first couple of days it felt like it almost never tried to correct me or alert me um, when I was starting to veer out of a lane um, no matter how hard I tried if I tried to do it intentionally if I looked up and unintentionally I was doing it it had no warning uh, but again now today I've noticed it even a couple times one of the other things I really like about this car is the sound system it's very good uh, there's speakers all over this car uh, we've got some on the door pillars tweeters we've got speakers for the um, for the hands-free system a huge uh, speaker set up across the front there and it makes for a very nice listening experience inside of this car and I argue that this car is is, is very quiet um, way more quiet than I than I anticipated uh, given the history of the Model 3 so that makes for a nice acoustic area in here where listening to music is great and you're not distracted by the outside noises um, I'm getting ready to do 55 miles an hour and you can't even tell so uh, that's nice so aside from some of the other build defects that I've already shared in some of my other videos check them out they um, must have figured out a better way to seal the inside of this car so that there's less wind noise uh, I think that was one of the biggest complaints of the Model 3 was oh my gosh still out uh, I, I did experience it in the Model 3 standard range plus that we drove um, definitely a lot more road noise and wind noise uh, than than you hear in this car no question about it so they've done a really nice job of fixing that i do have to point one thing out uh it's not a big deal and it's super quick to get over it but i was deceived um on how small the view is out the back window let me show you what i mean it's like a little sliver back there and it's just because of the shape of the car it's a big piece of glass back there but from here it looks so small i can only explain it as slightly larger or about the same size as the back tailgate on a prius if you've ever seen that from the driver's seat um, it's just because the shape is so stretched out it gives you just this little sliver to look out and it's uh it takes a minute to get used to that because you're not expecting it given the entire top half of this car is glass uh, but but something that was interesting to point out in keeping up with the theme of rear visibility uh, if you are used to a model 3 you'll be happy to know that the side mirrors are quite a bit larger and they're uh, they're the right size a very good size to see uh, pretty well what's going on behind you there's a lot to be said about this car overall and I've seen a lot of comments about, uh, you know, 
everything considered, do you still think it's worth it? And I want to make it clear now, 100% this car is everything that I hoped it would be um, and, and certainly more. Now I am coming from not having owned a Tesla in the past, so take that into consideration that I don't have the extensive experience of having owned like a Model 3 for uh, say the last two years like some of you so hopefully my experiences with this Model Y will help you with your decision on if you're ready to make the jump to a Model Y whether that is from another Tesla or a different car altogether I will tell you this this Model Y um, is without a doubt the right car for our family and hopefully uh, if you watch some of our other videos you'll be able to see for yourself why uh, the Model Y see what it did there is a great vehicle for a lot of families and a lot of people whether you have a family or not I can tell you I've without a doubt absolutely enjoyed putting these videos together and sharing my experience with our Tesla Model Y with you um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the videos that I've put together. I'm gonna to continue posting videos on a regular basis to share more with you. I have a couple of road trips planned and I'm hoping to share that video with you, including some range um, videos that I'm planning to do here in the very near future. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the like and we'll catch you next time.